to multitask when I make this because I really hate going, you know, two and three weeks between uploads. And I did want to throw out my two cents regarding all of this going on right now in our political theater about the FISA warrants and these anti-Trumpers still beating the drums of Trump's going to get impeached. And it's funny when these things happen, I pay attention to what like the last cycle was and what's missing. You know, you have your Maxine Waters silence and then you have something that is new that kicks up. You know, that everything of course is stork and cage. It is just so amazing to me that the attention span that we have to follow up on anything is just non-existent. It is completely non-existent. And I'm just going to just be very brief and break it down to what my assessment is. Bottom line, there was huge amounts of provable treason and taking money and a lot of shady shit that Hillary Clinton participated in, which was all pretty much documented in the emails. She deleted the emails because that would tie her to taking money from foreigners, you know, for, and just a lot of other deals, which probably had two degrees of separation from a lot of crimes. And it involved a lot of other people. That is why the emails were deleted. Everybody, yes, Benghazi, there was, there, you know, the Benghazi, that trial was what sparked the acknowledgement of the emails missing. But everything that's come after this, okay, Benghazi and like the, and, and the uh, nonsense that went on between her and making orders to not send anybody in and all this, that, this, and, and just ignoring the calls and everything, that was just one little, really, you know, minute part of all of the crimes that have been committed and the people that were affiliated with those crimes. She's just like really one part. She's one part of a multitude, a multitude of crimes that went on. And if you looked at, through those emails, it would be, it would be pretty easy to kind of like piece together other people that should be held accountable. Now, everyone who got immunity for those um, emails being deleted or like Pagliano and so forth, anybody associated like Comey and Lynch who uh, let these people say, go ahead, we're going to let them destroy and smash their devices, every single one of them, every, no immunity deals. Right now, when we're talking about there's going to be five deals of immunity to go against Manafort, it's not like I'm a big Manafort fan, but fucking hell no. No fucking immunity. And every single person that had immunity with Comey, it needs to be revoked. I'm going to post a link to Lionel Nation's live stream earlier today. I swear when that man talks, it's like there's a, lot, there's a lot of jumping around, which I can totally identify with, but he hit upon it today. And this is what I have been saying myself. Show me the indictments. Everything, all these other things are fantastic. Great. Okay, sure. We have, um, you know, I don't follow Q. Like I, I, I'll hear what he's just, they have to say or whatever, but no, I don't put like so much weight in it. But really when it comes down to it, show me the indictments. Show me that action is being done. If you go in and you rob a bank, you're going to get arrested. You're going to have to go to jail. You're going to stand trial. Jury of your peers, which is another whole conversation of a joke, is going to find you innocent or guilty, and then you're going to go through the legal system. And if that legal system does not apply to everyone, then it shouldn't apply to anyone. And that's about all I have to say. 